Okay, I've had fun in 600 signs. Then I guess we went to 620 elevators, is that right? Escalators and all that kind of thing. That was okay, that was kind of fun. Electric vehicle power, transfer equipment. I have a tendency to get myself in trouble with electric vehicle people. Oh man, electric vehicles <laughs> are like in love with whatever carbon footprints are and whatever those things are and sustainable energy and that all demographic's that. changing. You think so? Oh yeah. But anyways. Because a lot of people love them now because they're fast. Well, that might be true. <laughs> but I can tell you one thing. I don't give my opinion on electric vehicles because 95% of people who have electric vehicle love their electric vehicle. So there's no reason for me to, you know, piss off 95%. Yeah, okay. that's true. So I'm not going to go there. Okay. But I did have a Tesla on order and they said, hey, okay, your Tesla's here, ready to go. And then I realized, what am I going to do with it? I mean, I live in California. I mean, I live in New Mexico and I got two cars. And I don't want an electric vehicle that's going to be limiting me to go where I want to go. Because, you know, you're out in West, you're going to go a little further driving than you would be maybe in a city. Yeah. I mean, so for me, I think it's cool. But I did read about the cars because, you know, it's DC, right? And it's just like, boom, yeah. it's on. Oh, <laughs> there. Yeah. It's what, 1.8 seconds, you know, 60 miles an hour or mm -hmm. some crazy number like that. Well, okay. under three seconds for the truck I have on reserve at Tesla, I reserved a 2.8 seconds to get to 60. And a pickup truck. He's, he's one of those. Like the the cyber truck. Right. Yeah. Watch this. They changed the scope <clears throat> and they no. changed the title of Article 625 from electric vehicles and they changed it to electric vehicle power transfer systems. Mario, go to 90.1A6 in the 2020 code. And when I say to Mario, go to 90.1A6, I'm not trying to get Mario to get there. I'm trying to kind of cue you in that I'd like you to stop, get your code book, take a look at that. What they did in the 2020 code was they added a new scope. I mean, there was only four things that was within the scope of the code, and they expanded the scope of the code 50% by adding a number five for um, uh, marinas, yep. cords, yep. And, and leakage detectors, and then mm -hmm. they add number six. So, Mario, what is 110, I mean, 90.1, is it at 1A4? It's, it's a 90.2A covered. I would say 1A, and it's scope two. of the code. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, 1A is the purpose of the code. Okay, 2 is the scope. Okay, 2A6. Yes. What does it say? It says on here, installations used to export electric power from vehicles to premises wiring. Hold on. Export electric power from what? Electric. Export electric power from vehicles. Ah. So now the code is talking about, besides you getting power, let's say, from solar and from the utility, you might be getting your electric power from your car. Yep. You bring your car home, you park your car in the garage, and all of a sudden you lose power. Well, don't worry about it. Your car has a battery in it. Maybe who knows how many kW rating of the battery, 80 kW or whatever the ratings and batteries are. And then all of a sudden, guess what you have now? Your car is actually exporting power. Now, but the thing is, I still want to park my car in my garage, but I want my car to get charged. Mm -hmm. yep. So I need to have a charger that's going to charge from AC power, utility power, charge up my battery. But at the same time, I want that charger to be bidirectional mm -hmm. so that it can then export power from my car into the premises. And that means that I need to have an inverter and it has to be interactive because I don't want my car charging power to my house while I'm getting power from the utility. So as long as it's power from the utility, my car is not going to back charge. It's not going to, it's not going to back feed my house. Okay. So I have to have something that's going to sense, okay, I have AC power. So therefore I'm going to charge a battery. Once the battery is charged, I will not back feed the house unless utility power loses power. Do you follow the concept there? Right. So there's going to be an interactive inverter in there. So they had to change the scope of let's go to article 625 and here's what it says. Introduction, let's see, do I have a, a slide here? Here we go, let's just go this way. Article 625 covers the installation of conductors and equipment connecting to electric vehicles to premises wiring. No change there. The change is for the purpose of charging power export or bi-directional current flow. So now the title had to change. Mm 